Okay, YouTube, we're back and we're going to tie a jig. Everybody should have in their box, should have it in their arsenal. This is going to be the, uh, my version of the electric chicken. And I think we're going to tie it in with the rubber skirt. We're going to tie it in with some uh, pretty flashy tinsel Chanel. But let's give it a start. This is a jig that I, a color combination jig I've had tons of success with. I used to, when I fished plastics, I used to always have them in my box. Always, always, always. And I always bought the ones, the Mr. Crappie, the Wally Marshall, uh, electric chicken jigs. They held up good. They were good. And as soon as I started tying jigs, I kind of went right to my version of that, of that color scheme that Wally Marshall had put into the electric chicken. So let's give it a shot. We're going to put our hardest hole nails head cement down first. We're going to be using a pink thread, 140 ultra thread, small diameter, kind of, kind of not, should tie you down pretty good. Give it a good heavy thread base all the way back to the shank, of, to the tip of the hook, bring it all the way back up to the head. Now what I was looking for was a skirt that had pink and Chanel, pink and chartreuse in it both at the same time. I got a pink one. Then I got one that's pink and it's got some, or chartreuse has got some white in it. So we're gonna dig out like four or five strands. Might be more than that there. Of chartreuse, we're gonna tie that in first. We're gonna lay that chartreuse down and then we're gonna add our pink to the top of that. Like I said, when I tie these, I always try to push that thread around the shank of the hook. And as you're wrapping it, you'll see that you're pulling it over also. And that's exactly what you want. So we're gonna give that first layer a good wrap. So we've got our Chanel, our chartreuse tail material tied in. And we're going to pull off like three strands of pink. We're going to cut those off about the same length as we cut the chartreuse ones off. Now this one, I want this one to try to stay right on that, right on the, which would be the bottom side of the jig. I don't want it to go all the way around. Just kind of my preference. That way you kind of got like pink streamers hanging into the bottom of that jig. When you get done wrapping all that rubber skirting material in, you should have a pretty solid thick thread base again. Now we're going to add some uh, flash to it. I'm going to put in a pink and chartreuse polar flash. And for some reason here lately, I've been into a pretty big kick with uh, using the polar. So let me get a piece of chartreuse here cut out. We'll cut it off just about the same length as we cut the pink. Now that we got our flash cut, I'm sorry, I usually have that laid out ready to go, but I didn't that time. So we're gonna get our loop in them, just like that. Bring our thread all the way back up. Go over the back side of the jig head, pull it up kind of tight. And I'm stretching it down the side so I got a little bit, so I got it hanging off both sides of that jig. wrap it all the way back up. We're going to 
trim it down just a little bit. We're gonna make it just a little bit longer than our tail. Actually, our tail might be a little bit longer. That's all right, we're gonna take it. Still gonna work. I'm not gonna throw it in the garbage can over that. And for our Chanel, we are gonna be using a tinsel Chanel medium. This is from Wapsi. This is what I'm usually used to ordering. I'm used to going by small, medium, large. So when I went to the, uh, I can't think of the name of it. When I went to the other Chanel and it was size one and two, I had to check it out. That's why I have a, uh, a local fly shop you can go to. They'll kind of let you get it out, you know, pulled out of the plastic, give you an idea of the comparison. Plateau Fly Shop in Springfield, Missouri is awesome with that. They will explain to you why it's a one, a two, or a three, or a small, medium, and large. You tell them what size jig you got, what size jig had your time, he'll hook you up. He'll let you know what is probably going to be able to use that jig and still make it come out looking right. This is a really awesome looking Chanel. First time I've used it. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what this is going to look like when it's done. I really like the flash that's in this Chanel, which was uh, probably one of the main reasons I picked this one. A little bit of white in it, there's a flash in it. Get our second glue base down, just kind of help hold the Chanel a little bit. And we're going to wrap it up. Taking our Chanel all the way back to the head of that jig. We're gonna tie that section down. We'll come back over here. We're gonna strap this section in pretty tight. Back over, come back over and do it again. And we're gonna put a pretty heavy neck on it, just like that. And we're gonna cut our Chanel off. And we are gonna do whip finish. Pop it out. Let's do one more just for safe measure. Let's pop that out, pull it down good and tight. Cut that baby off and let's see what it looks like. One of my favorite colors always has been ever since I've been crappie fishing and plastics were so abundant there, you know, um, the electric chicken. And I started out using the electric chicken from Wally Marshall. And that is a awesome looking jig. If you fish the electric chicken and you like those colors, this one here will slap a crappie in the mouth. I will guarantee it. Awesome color right there. Tail's a little bit long, but you still short enough to tell some. Let's pull it down and do it. Let's make it, let's finish this jig up completely. There it is. There it is, the electric chicken, folks. You can make the electric chicken at home. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to buy it. You can make it at home. You will catch more fish with your hand tied jig. You can shoot docks with your hand tied jig. Um, tied on, catch the fish. You notice they're going to a different color. Cut the line, put it back in your box. Use it just like you would a bass jig. It's as durable as any bass jig you will use, and it is way more durable than any plastic you will ever buy. Stock your own tackle box with it. Buy those colors you like, experiment with it, see what you think, see what you like, see what you don't like. You can tie the exact color you want. You don't have to go to the store and say, well, I want it this color, they don't have it, this is pretty close. You can make it exactly the way you want to do it. It's not that hard. Uh, give it a shot, don't be afraid of it. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you later, folks. Let me know what you think.